Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Charles Jordan versus Nathaniel Wood. And I'm going with the Trini pick here. I think he's still a dog, but it's the Trini pick right now. Among cappers. Nathaniel Wood, low confidence, in the distance, submission. But um, yeah, I'm going to say why I'm picking him, but I'm going to say why I'm like not confident about it, to be honest, is because Jesse Dan seemed to have his biggest issue in the ground, but then again, grapplers tend to be better when they come from higher up than going down, or if that's the approach you're going to do, it tend to be better if you're coming down, and striking tend to be better if you go up, but um, like you come up with what kinds of the striker versus these slower grapplers, slower, less technical grapplers for the most part. Grapplers go down because you... Get, Still got a cardio to you know be able to move around well and push that pace. But you got these smaller, yes, more technical guys, but you can control, you can control them, and it's like not as much to lift and move around. And you can hold your will. You be that big bully on them, and yeah, it's been changing up. It's been shifting around, but for a time that definitely was, especially like 10, 12, 13 years ago, that was like very popular and it was very much successful. A lot of guys would go down and do well. What's the name? The guy that retired pretty early, knocked out Gray Maynard and whatnot. He's supposed to fight Ben Henderson. I made a video on him too. Grant Dawson, that was that Grant Dawson, it was like something Grant, TJ Grant, yeah. It was a lot of people who did that well. He, he, he was, let's he was be honest, he was a mediocre welterweight, would drop down lightweight, and instantly was not too long, he was about to fight for a title, and then probably got beat up in the gym, hit the back of the head or something, I don't know what happened to him, but just stopped fighting right at the peak of his career. But that only had the most to deal with this video, so um, yeah, trendy pick, low confidence, still the dog at this point, last I checked, is... um. Nathaniel Wood in this fight against um, what's his name, Charles Jordan. Yes, I feel like the weakest area in his game is definitely his grappling area for um, Charles Jordan. He's definitely not no weak, you know, definitely not um, so super vulnerable in that area, but it is an area that could be potentially exploited. Yeah, it's an area that could be exploited by him. But um, now I'll get to your point where I feel like um. Nathan, what is the low confidence, you know, in picking him or in this fight in general kind of, is because he got out Russell well, by the stat-wise. He got taken down, what, three times by, um, I think it was like two to one. By the way, it was like one plus one Rosa. Rosa being in an out Russell control by just by every single person. And you get out Russell, well, you get, lose the takedown, the numerical battle to um, Charles Rosa. You really should have held him to zero takedowns, so. The fact that he got multiple takedowns on you, that's a concern. And you're supposed to come in this fight, and that's supposed to be your path to victory, or a big part of your path to victory. And you got taken down twice. Then also, with well, your last fight in the, that weight class, Bantamweight, pretty much you guys almost matched up pretty much evenly with Casey Kenny, and he beat you on, like, overall. It was a close fight, but he beat you overall. Beat you in the striking, and beat you in the grappling. I, you know, won the takedown battle, again. So, this guy, you're supposed to be taking this guy right here because of this, but in reality... He kind of lost in two wrestling matches in a row. He won this last fight, obviously, dominantly. But as far as the grappling exchanges, he lost his last two grappling exchanges. Well, wrestling exchanges. He lost, grappling, he won this fight every single place. But wrestling-wise, he lost that. Statistically, number, numerically. But, um, yeah, so that's a concern. Like, yeah. Now would be enough for me to lean to charge down. But I'm, just, I'm going with the trendy right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean trendy just for this one. And, um... The, another, also, the funny thing with this pick is that I've been fading Jordan so heavily, and he really won his last fight, but I've been fading him so heavy, even the fights that haven't happened, I was fading him against this guy, this guy, that guy. And, like, right now, it's like 1-1 one one against him in, like, the last two fights, but in reality, I should be, like, 0-2 against him in the last two fights. But, hey, going trendy here. I feel like on the feet, um, to be a competitive fight, I feel like Nathaniel Wood should be at, um, be more fine-tuned and ready for this fight. He can come with a lot of confidence. Either Dan will come in hungry, that's probably going to you know, make him want to get off earlier, which is going to maybe open opportunities for takedowns, but very competitive fight. But Nathaniel Wood going to his grappling and being able to take advantage of the aggression, maybe get some takedowns, get some control, wear on him, and just make force him to work, force him to wear down. And eventually, very competitive fight, but um, Nathaniel Wood finding a wood, I mean, I say Nathaniel Wood. Nathaniel Wood finding openings, finding his timing, and taking advantage of the aggression, scoring takedowns, wearing on him, to eventually... Tap him out the round, but very, very competitive fight. But basically, like, I just feel like the smaller 35er 
Wood should be able to push the pace and maintain that pace better. Even though Jordan did have a pace, but it was like, um, yeah. His last one was kind of fading off there, allowing him to get off, and it wasn't really showing the best defense. Where I feel like Nathan Wood would be able to grapple with more efficiency and more cardio. So low confidence. So it even sounds like BS coming out of my mouth right now. But hey, low confidence. Nathan Wood stands him. Then eventually be able to settle the grappling, settle into his grappling and tap him out third round. So in this one, I got Nathaniel Wood via third round submission. 